In our last reading, we laid the foundation for a discussion of one of the biggest questions in the writings of what is called the New Testament, namely, why Paul? As we continue in this series, we will look at just why the glorified Lord Jesus Christ saw it necessary to encounter his enemy, Saul, save him by his grace, and send him with a message of grace to the Gentiles. Today we will continue with the record of called me by his grace. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb, and called me by his grace, to reveal his Son in me, that I might preach him among the heathen, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood, neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me. But I went into Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter, and abode with him fifteen days. But other of the apostles saw I none, save James the Lord's brother. Galatians 1 verses 15 to 19. Let's discuss our key question and these verses. Sometimes believers study the Bible for years without really asking any questions. In fact, in some circles, those presumed to be students of the Word are encouraged to not question what they are taught about the Word. How can such a method be right? Doesn't mankind learn by questioning? Looking at our scripture reference, we can observe that, after Christ called Paul on the road to Damascus, why did Paul not immediately confer with the twelve in Jerusalem? In fact, instead of hanging around and being instructed by the twelve, our scripture states he instead went into Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem. Several questions that a true student of the word would ask at this point is why? One why, when there were already twelve apostles in Jerusalem, eleven that Jesus appointed and one that the eleven appointed per the instruction of prophesy and the leading of the Spirit, did the risen and glorified Lord Jesus Christ want and need another apostle? Two and further, why did he choose to call a guy who was his mortal enemy on the road to Damascus? Three and why an apostle to the Gentiles when he had already given a great commission to the twelve that included going to the Gentiles at some point? For and why not have the twelve instruct this new guy? To answer this, you'll need to hang out in Acts 15 and Galatians 1 and 2 and in those scriptures are the answers to these questions and how they fit together. If you like answers, please check these coming thoughts out. And then don't quit, go search the scriptures to see if these things are true. It is your responsibility, as a believer, to seek answers in the scriptures and you'll never grow in grace if you do not. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.